Hi, hello everyone. Um, my name is Liu Aoyang. I'm a movie choreographer. In this, in this video, I'm coming to Thailand because you know I've been doing Muay Thai for a few years, and I want to upgrade myself. You know, I want to improve my skill. So you know, I want to see how you know the Thai people they train in this country. Hi everyone, I'm coming back to England now. It is a good experience. I went to Thailand to do some Muay Thai training, right? In Muay Thai training, I've done a lot of uh, sparring, body conditioning, and cardio training. I think this is very important. So this is why I would like to take those methods, come back to England and teach my students and share with them. I found one of the valid points to take is uh, Muay Thai, they do a lot of sparring. A lot of people in Wing Chun, they're only doing Qi Sao, they're not really doing a lot of sparring. I think sparring is very important to use, to learn how to use your art in a correct way, in a practical way. So I think, you know, the Wing Chun practitioner should do a little bit more sparring. So in here, I will ask my students to do more sparring from now on and put this into one of our training syllabus. And I found, you know, uh, the Thailand people, they got very good attitude toward the martial arts. For example, I've seen a 14 years old guy, you know, boy, you know, he trains every day, and every day, five, half past five, he start running, he doing pet work, he doing sparring, he doing cringing, etc., etc., right? So, you know, I think, you know, our people here, if you're really serious about martial arts, you should go there to see how they train. Because I think if you have the attitude right, doing the martial arts is easy. If you haven't got the attitude right, you know, then you're easy to give up and you can't go anywhere. So I think this is some of the wildest points I found, you know, I learned from Thailand. Until next time, see you later. Thank you for watching.